Telnet library. In this lecture, we are going to Telnet to Huawei router from the Python script here and make some comments. When we turn it to the router, we are going to be asked to input the user password. Then we will be prompted to the user prompt. Then if we are going to change or configure the router, we have to input system view to get into the system view mode or the configuration mode of the router. The example here to configure interface ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 5 with an IP address. Then we commit our changes. This is the router we have. If we are going to turn it to the router manually, we will be asked to the username and password, then the user view, then the system view mode. We have to input system view keyword to get into the system view mode. Then we have to configure interface ethernet ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 5 then we will configure the IP address we can display the contents of 1 slash 0 slash 5 we don't have any IP address configured here currently on the interface this is a script here we are going to import telnet library we defined variable user the user name is Huawei. The password is Hamdi at 1011. Then we defined another two variables, user prompt and config prompt. The user prompt, this is a user prompt here, and the config prompt here. This is a config prompt. This is a prompt that will appear once we are in the system view mode. We defined variable t equals to telnet library imported above dot telnet. We ask the variable t to initiate telnet connection to the IP address of the router. This is the IP address of the router here. Display IP interface brief. The IP address of the router here is the IP address of interface ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 2 is, which is 192.168.129.152 In the network topology here, the Linux server has a Python script to turn it to the router. Then we are going to print connecting to PE router. Then we will ask the T variable, which is the telnet function, to read until the keyword username. So it will read from the router until username colon. Then we are going to write, write the user. The user here is Huawei. So the Python script will write the username on behalf of us. And instead of writing it manually here in the router, we will write it using user.encode ASCII to encode the user into ASCII, then enter. We will ask the T variable to write enter. Then we will read until password. The next is password. We are going to write the password. This is a password variable here is Hamdi underscore 1011 is going to be written by T dot write password.encode ASCII, then enter. Then we print connection to the IP address, connection to the IP address 192.168.129.152 is successful. We defined user mode equals to read until the user prompt. The user prompt is this one. Then we print the user mode. We are going to print exactly what we are seeing from the router. We are going to store all this response from the router into user mode, then we print it. Then we write the system view, then enter. We ask the Python script to write to the router system hyphen view. 
then config mode variable which is read until the config prompt this is a config prompt then we write interface ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 5 we are going to configure this interface so we are going to make the python script to write interface ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 5 enter we receive from the router its response until the config prompt which is here then we are going to print what we are going to receive from the router then the IP address same read until the config prompt then print what we are going to receive from the from the router finally we are going to write command commit print the response from the router using config mode dot decode ask close the telnet session let's test now this python script python telnet underscore lib stands for library this is the execution of the python script connecting to pe router print connecting to the pe router this is the first action in our python script then the username then the password We asked the Python script to input the username and password without printing anything. Then we print connection to the IP address is successful. This is a second action. We receive from the router until this prompt. This is a response from the router and uh, printed here. Then we asked the Python script to enter CLI command system view to get into the system view then ask it the Python script to input interface Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 5 this is a response from the router next the action from the Python script to input the IP address and this is a response from the router is okay then we commit this is a action from the Python script side and this is what we received from the router. The commit is applied and changes to the interface is applied. We can test that now by getting into the router itself. Interface Ethernet 1 slash 0 was unassigned with an IP address. That was before. We can now check the interface. Display current configuration interface Ethernet. 1 slash 0 slash 5 we have here now the interface is configured with the IP address 192.168.50.1 with the subnet mask 255.255.255.252 as we did here exactly in the script display IP interface brief we can now see that interface Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 5 appears with the IP address given from the Python script. Thank you for viewing this video. I hope it can add a good value to you.